Today I'm looking at my Panasonic Lumix FZ150 camera. This is the camera that I usually use to make my YouTube videos, uh, but I've been having some problems with it lately because I dropped it. And uh, most notably, you may be able to see here in the, in the uh, cell phone shot here that I've got, that uh, the lens is a little bit battered up, or at least the ring around the lens is a little mushed up here, and there's a spot over here, I think. And what really is the biggest problem is that it's probably not going to be visible in this video. Maybe you can see it right there. There's a chip in the actual lens surface. So that chip is causing all kinds of problems with the autofocus and things like that. And uh, if you notice in a few of my recent videos, you can even see a little fuzzy spot in the video that's caused by this chip. So I think what I'm going to try and do is try and replace the lens assembly. Uh, I see that they're available on eBay for purchase from Hong Kong uh, for about $50 and change. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. I don't know if I'll be successful or not, but, uh, but we'll see what happens. I think before I actually order the lens, I'm going to start trying to disassemble the camera just to see how hard it is to take it apart. The first thing that I'll do is try and take off these little screws that are on the bottom of the cover. Okay, and it looks like there's also one on the side here. There also appears to be screws on this side. Now let's see if that loosens anything up here. Okay, it does feel like the back wants to come off, so I will take this screw off as well. Okay, so I've got all the screws out, and then the next thing that I did, you can see here, this shoe clip, I'll push it back in. And I just had to pop this out with a screwdriver and slide it this way and out of the way. And now that reveals uh, a few screws under here. I'd say the black ones. So I'll start with those and see where that gets me. Okay, so it looks like with the two black screws out, the back of the camera comes off. And you can see there's a small flex PCB here mounted in a ZIF cable. Okay, so the next thing that needs to happen is this ZIF cable needs to come out of this connector. So in order to do that, there's like a locking tab on the back of the connector, and that's the black part. I'm not sure how visible that is in this cell phone camera, but I'm trying to show it. You can see that I just flipped that up with this knife. You could probably use a fingernail if you have long enough fingernails. Once that's flipped up, I'm just going to gently pull on the cable and remove it from the connector. So now that should divorce the back from the main camera body. And I'll try and show the flex cable there as well as I can. It's kind of gl glaring off the light there, but you can see all that really is is a flexible circuit board with some exposed pads that make contact to fingers on the connector on the board. So there's a bunch of those on this camera that'll need to be dealt with. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to want to do is remove all of these flex connectors, or flex cables rather, by unlocking those tabs and pulling these cables gently out of their connectors. You should be able to see here that I've got most, if not all, of the flex cables divorced from the board here, but there's also a couple of wired connectors here that also need to come out. There's this red and black one which I've already kind of got out of there. And then there's a black and a white one over here on this side that I just pulled out. And it looks like these are both the same size. Uh, same size connector and same number of pins. So they could be easily reversed when reassembling. It looks like everything else would uh, would have a hard time being reversed. It looks like all the other connectors are different sizes 
and or the cable wouldn't reach even if another connector was the same size so I think we're going to be okay there uh, one other thing to note is that this connector down here instead of having the flip up tab like these do this one here pulls straight down in the same direction that the cable plugs in so it kind of slips down over the cable and then once it's out the the flex cable can be you know pulled out so now it looks like I should be able to remove the circuit board screws there's uh, one there one there one down in that corner and I think that's it I don't see any others but okay so now I think the board the circuit board will come out so now I think the circuit board will come out but I may need to do some prying here of the sides of the camera uh, to kind of get the connectors that are attached to this free so I just want to be careful it looks like if it's going to hang up on anything it's down at the bottom there oh, looks like I got it to come out and it feels like there's still one more cable holding it in and there is I missed one of those ZIF cables here this little one so I'll flip that up and the main board is now free as you can see so let's set that aside and take a look here and see what needs to happen next the lens assembly is just held on with two screws one down in here and the other in here and I think it'll come out I'm not sure though it's possible that this the viewfinder assembly and, and flash assembly are also partially holding it in but I'm not sure I'm gonna try and just take the lens out though if I can the less the least amount of disassembly I need to do on this thing the better removing those two screws succeeded in removing this uh, plate out of the way but you can see the lens is still the lens assembly is still in there and it looks like this stuff's in the way so this stuff's gonna need to come out and I think there's one more screw up here that's holding it in and there's also another screw over here on the right kind of buried in okay so with those two screws out of the way it looks like this needs to come out the control I'll set that aside and now it looks like the viewfinder and flash assembly should come out Oh, there is there's like a metal bracket in here that's holding it on this bracket right here and I'm not sure what that's attached to it looks like it's attached to this other circuit board here so I don't know if this can just slide up and out of the way there we go yeah that slides up and out of the way although I did bend I did kind of bend this tab a little bit so I'll have to bend that back into place that probably wasn't the best thing to do but it seems pretty delicate actually so we'll have to watch that when I reassemble it and then there's also a as you can see maybe you can see there's a wire connector there that's going to need to come out so we'll try and work that out without damaging anything and as it appears maybe you saw it in the first time I showed this but I didn't realize it there's a second wire there okay so that's free okay looks like I've got one more thing to get out of the way there's some plastic brackets here if I can get this thing to focus there's some plastic brackets here that are part of this battery assembly so this is going to need to come out and it looks like there's no more screws I think I just need to pry the side of the case out yep you can see <laughs> that popped right out so now we'll set that aside okay and then this little side plate for the um, HDMI connector needs to come out of the way that was just in there and now I think this will slide out of here let's 
feels like something's holding it up. Oh, there it is. Okay. And now, the lens assembly is finally free. And we've more or less um, disassembled the entire camera at this point. So, there's the lens itself, or the lens assembly and the sensor there. So, hopefully, I can get this whole assembly as a replacement. I ended up finding a service manual online for the uh, Panasonic cameras of this genre. And uh, this is actually uh, quite a useful document. And I wish I had seen this before I started disassembling everything, although I think I pretty much inadvertently followed the instructions in the, uh, in the service manual. But it does give fairly detailed instructions on what to do. The English is a little broken, but if you study it for a little bit, um, you know, you can kind of follow along. The point that I'm at now is I've realized that the, um, the replacement les lens unit that's available on eBay does not contain the CMOS sensor, which is here. Um, and removing the CMOS sensor is quite an ordeal. Once these two screws are um, cracked open, or the seal on them is broken, rather, then there becomes an alignment issue and special software and everything is needed to run to do a proper alignment. So, having said that, what I think my plan is, is that I'm going to still order the replacement unit, which will contain everything but the CMOS sensor, and I'll try to replace just this outer lens housing, as that seems to be the only problem with the camera. It's just got that chip in the lens. Um, the auto zoom, like I said, is no longer functioning properly, but I think it's because of that chip. I think that's confusing the autofocus sensors and causing it to kind of hunt around a little bit. And it's, you know, causing a blemish in the, in the image as well. So I want to try and get rid of that. Um, so it may not completely fix the auto zoom problem. Maybe there's something else going on in here, but it'll at least get rid of that blemish. So the next step as suggested by the service manual, is to remove this motor drive unit. And they talk about completely unsoldering this flex cable from this connector. Now, I don't really want to do that, but what I think I can do is if I'm careful, just remove these two screws and bend this thing up out of the way. Um, I've worked with enough flex boards over the years to know that as long as you're careful you can bend these things a few times and the inside and the underlying copper won't crack or, uh, or tear or anything like that. So I, I'm going to go for that rather than trying to unsolder. I think I'd end up doing more damage trying to unsolder and resolder this thing. Okay, I'm going to give this a shot and see what happens. With those screws removed, this ought to just come out of here. And I should be able to pivot it up out of the way. And like I said before, as long as I'm careful with this flex cable, it should be fine. Okay, according to the manual, the next step is to activate the gear here that's on the bottom of the, uh, the lens assembly. And this is the, the gear that this motor drives to... Um, you know, zoom in the, the lens. So it says that if you activate this, this pops up and should come off. I'm going to try and slide over here. Okay, so once I extended it all the way, it felt like it clicked there. Okay, you can see here that I've actually put the motor back on the unit and that was an effort to protect the flex cable there so I don't damage it. But you can see I've got the lens still extended and it won't come out. And that is because I forgot to take this piece off right here. This is called a cam stopper and this must have something to do with uh, releasing the lens. And maybe you can see there that that is just a plastic piece with a tab on it. And that piece 
hopefully is what's preventing this from coming the rest of the way off. Now I may need to loosen the motor back up just to release tension on the gear there. Yep. So that one piece was what was holding it on. So I'm just going to be very gentle here. And now this should come right off. Okay, and there you can see everything apart. Um, here's the outer lens, the broken piece that I'm going to replace, and here's the inner lens. So what I'm going to do, um, before I get any dust on this thing, is I'm actually going to reassemble it. Now that I know I can get it apart without damaging anything, at least any worse than I might have already, and uh, I'm going to order the replacement unit. Now again, I'll get this entire unit, but all I really want is this piece. So when I get the new unit, I'll disassemble that unit and take this piece off of that unit, put it on mine, and reassemble everything, and hopefully bring this camera back to full functionality.